So this is how I cut flowers, petals for flowers. And in this one, I'm going to be making a couple roses and then another kind of a flower. But what you do is you just go around the perimeter of the circular item that you have because you want the petal to be circular so that it can stand up on its own. And you go around the perimeter of the glass, the bowl, the vase. If you want really small flowers, the smaller the diameter is, the smaller the flower you can make. And um, you could use a shot glass or a votive, a regular glass, and um, see how they're standing up. So this is how it breaks when you use your nippers to cut it around the perimeter. And this is exactly how you do it, just like that. And then you keep on going around the perimeter until you've either used all the glass up or you got all the petals that you'll be needing for your project. So it's in your best interest to find glass that has some color to it because then you do not have to color the glass. And also the thicker the glass, and I'm not saying real thick, but the thicker the glass, the better off you are too. Like a wine glass has fairly thin glass, but you can find some drinking cups that the glass is more substantial. So I would say the heavier, or thicker cups are the best to use or vases. So you can see how thick that glass is there. And then I'm going to show you a piece of red glass and you can see the difference in the thickness. And the other thing that you can see with that red glass is that the color red is not all the way through it. You see the red is on each side, but you can see that it's clear in the center. So that's glass that's just painted on, whereas this yellow glass that I'm cutting is the glass, the color is all the way through it. So that is the glass to look for. The kind to find is the one with the color all the way through it. And a lot of vases can trick you because they look as if they are that color all the way through but they really aren't and if you watch one of my very first videos it might be my first video talking about um, glass and how you can tell whether it the color is all the way through the glass or if it's just something painted or sprayed on and why that's of interest for me is because I tumble a lot of glass and if you tumble glass that just has the color sprayed on when you put it in the tumbler the color will come out and the glass will be clear when you take it out. Next I start cutting up a pink vase all the way around to make petals for flowers. So I'm going to show you three different roses or flowers that I make with all these different vases and cups that I'm cutting up and I do the exact same thing with this as I did with that yellow or amber cup. And then next I take this hurricane glass here and this glass is kind of similar to a wine glass where it's very thin so I wouldn't really recommend it but I wanted to show you what it would look like as a flower and this because it's clear I'm going to actually have to spray paint it to give it some color. So I break this up the same way and just make sure um, you keep on going around in a circle and that the glass can actually stand up. Then I spread all the clear hurricane glass out in the garage on some paper and I take my Krylon stained glass cranberry red spray paint and give it about five good coats of the spray paint, letting it dry about a half an hour between each spray. The first can I ended up throwing out, it wasn't working properly. Next, I got the three frames out that I was going to use for the project. Took the backing off, took the clips out, took the next backing off, took the glass out, cleaned the glass up, cleaned the frames up, and then took Elmer's glue and put it around the perimeter of the inside of the frame where the glass is going to sit. Then I replaced the glass and then I took the Elmer's glue again and went around the perimeter of the frame where there could possibly be some leaks. And I did this with all three of the frames. Now this Elmer's glue serves two purposes. It holds the glass in place and it seals it so that it helps prevent any resin leaks when you put resin on the top of it. 
Now, after you put the Elmer's glue on, you have to let it dry overnight, possibly for 24 hours, depending on how thick of a coat you put on. So I'm starting with the pink lash, and I just want to show you this. I hope I hope this makes sense. I'll try to explain it as best I can. When you look at it from the top, you can see that it's clear through it. It's just painted pink on one side and pink on the other. And if it stands straight up, that's what you see is the clear through it. Um, there's other things that you can do, but um, for this, using putting glass on glass, what I want to do is I want to flip it this way so that when you see it from the top, you see more of the pink and not the clear glass. I hope that makes sense. So it's good to have one side flat and the other side rounded so that you have a choice as to which way you want the glass to sit. Now, as you get more toward the center of the rows, you may want it to stand up straight like that, some smaller pieces, um, because it might look better. It's, it's just best because then you'll have a choice. So most pieces, when you cut them and are going around in a circle, one end will be flat and the other will be kind of cut at an edge. And um, when it's cut like this, both sides, no matter which way you flip it, it stands up straight. So you want to be able to do like what I just showed you. So what you're going to have to do is actually cut the edge. See how this has both edges cut at an angle so you can lay it down like that? which looks real pretty, but when it's only cut on one side, you can't do that. So what you need to do is cut them on both sides like this. And then you need to even up the other side so it's like the one that you just cut, just to make it even that it'll sit, it'll sit better on your uh, canvas or glass, whatever you're using. So now that one is like that. I hope this makes sense to you. So now you can put it either way. So now we're just going to move on to making the actual flower or flowers. So I started placing the pink glass down and there's no right or wrong way as far as the pattern but you just keep on putting it on I start from the outside I don't know if some people start from the inside but I started from the outside and just kept on working my way toward the center and I tried to center it which sometimes I have a problem with <laughs> things that I make always end up a little bit off center for some reason the one thing that I didn't mention about this pink glass is it has a texture to it that gives it a real unique look. So it might be something you'd like to look for when you're looking for glass. Also, I haven't mentioned that all the glass used in this video was picked up at either a garage sale or a thrift store. Garage sales are actually the best places to find it, the cheapest, but uh, thrift stores are also a great place to find glass. Once I was satisfied with the rows, next thing that I needed to add was leaves. Now for mine, I used my tumbled green glass, but I just wanted to show you what you could use if you don't have tumbled green glass. This is a little bowl and you can just nip it and put it in the shape of a leaf and set it there. But like I said, for mine, I already have this uh, tumbled glass available, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And again, I mess around with this probably for about 10 minutes trying to figure out exactly what I want. And then I'm finished. So this one I pretty much do the same way. I start on the outside and work my way in. The ones that I put on the outside or around the perimeter are laying down a little more. And as I get more toward the center, I think I'm using the side where it'll stand up more. The glass is so thick and the colors all the way through. I think it looks real pretty like that. Now sometimes when you're trying to break up little pieces to stand up <laughs> they keep on falling over and you need to use tweezers or something to pick them back up but because this glass is so thick you can cut real small pieces and it will stand on its own because the piece is so thick anyway um, I'm sure I, this took me at least 15 20 minutes but then I used the tumble glass for the leaves and I was done
Then lastly, I do the red glass. In this glass, I pretty much stand up straight up. I'm going to make a different kind of flower. I don't know what kind of flower it is, but it turns out pretty. It actually ends up kind of Christmassy looking. And then I lay a couple pieces of the red glass down in the center and I start the resin. I'm going to put some gold beads um, in the center after I start the resin because I figure they're just going to roll off when I pour the resin on it. So for this I'm using art resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin, one part resin to one part hardener. When you first put them in the container they're clear. As you start to mix it it becomes cloudy. You're supposed to mix it slowly for about three minutes. The slower you mix it the less bubbles you'll get. You're supposed to scrape the sides and the bottom to assure thorough mixing. After about three minutes it'll turn clear again and you're ready to pour on the project. So for this I just had the flat glass at the bottom and then I start pouring it over the project then I add the little gold balls. So I know they say resin is self-leveling but you really need to push it up into the corners and along the sides and look at it not only from the top but get down eye level with it and you can see if any spots are missing and you can use the spoon or your finger to move the uh, resin where it needs to be. And then I use the kitchen torch to get rid of all the little bubbles. And then next I mix and pour the resin for the yellow flower and then next I do the pink flower and I'm all finished. I do them all in the same way. Hey everyone, <laughs> hope you learned something from my uh, flower video. I guess uh, these two look more like roses and then the red one looks like a different kind of flower, not sure which. But my favorite I think is the pink one and the pink one's a little bit different because most of the petals are laying flat and you're looking at the glass from the top. And this is the one that was not pink all the way through, that the center was clear. So if you were looking at it from the top, it would uh, look clear you would see the clear but there's ways to disguise that also which I'll show you in another video but um, I think that turned out real pretty and then this is the yellow one that I used something with a smaller uh, circumference or smaller diameter and uh, these petals are a little bit smaller I guess you can cut them to whatever shape you want but when the diameter is smaller you can cut them smaller and they'll have more of a rounded edge they can stand up so if you were to get like a shot glass um, something really or a votive candle votive um, those are a lot have a lot smaller diameter and you can make a much smaller flower with it and they'll you know stand up easier and also this is the hurricane glass that was clear and real thin which th this turned out pretty too this just looks like a different kind of a flower and um, this green, even though I use tumbled glass on all of these, for the leaves, you can just as easily cut a bowl or a vase or anything into the leaf shapes, which I did. I showed you how to do it with the um, one bowl, or I made one, one leaf with it, but um, you can do that. You don't necessarily have to have tumbled glass, so this can all be done with just broken glass. And right now I'm also tumbling some glass um, because I want to try to make a rose with the tumbled glass. I had previously made roses with tumbled glass before and um, let me get you one real quick. So this is one of my tumbled glass roses and um, because when I first started um, use, working with glass, I only used tumbled glass. And the way I broke it, I did not shape it in any way. I just smashed it, broke it, threw it in the tumbler, and how it came out, it came out. So this really wasn't, um, it's a little bit out of a curve, but it wouldn't stand up on its own. It wasn't shaped in any form like how we shape these other roses. So as I've gotten into um, working with glass more, and you'll probably, if you look back on my video with the sunflower, the big window that I did with the sunflower, I actually shaped a lot of those petals, then put them in the tumbler. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually tumbling some shaped glass that I cut like this. 
and I'm going to make some flowers out of them and see how they turn out. So that's going to be another video. They're tumbling right now. Anyway, um, I hope you guys learned something from the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe and you'll be notified. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.